Welcome back to another vlog. I fell asleep with my hair wet last night because I was so tired when I got out of the shower. The train wreck today and I had to wear a hat. The only one I could find because I'm in the process of reorganizing my closet is this like highlighter pink Nike one. So sorry if I'm blinding you, but it is necessary today. Just got done pumping and now I need to load the girls up because we have a couple random errands under the bank and I need to run to the store to get tape because I wanna wrap presents um, while Lucy naps today. So. We need to go do that and Lucy has requested blueberries and I forgot to buy some the last two times I've been to the store so we need to go get that but yeah that's what's going on nothing super exciting volleyball banquet tonight I actually need to text uh, my dad because I don't even know what time it's at but yeah so I need to get a lot of stuff done before that but Shane only works a half day tomorrow and then he's off until after New Year's and I'm so excited I cannot tell you guys how excited I am that he doesn't have to go to work for 11 hours every day I can't wait. So, oh, you're putting lips on? This girl just woke up from her nap. Hi, baby. You are so sweet. Stella is like super obsessed with me right now and it's my favorite thing ever. She just wants to lay on me at all times. And I am here for it. It is so cute. I bought this vest at TJ Maxx for like $16, I think. Um, it's Thread and Supply and it said it was like originally $45. I'd never spend $45 on it, but for 16, it's very cute and warm. So it's a little obnoxious and fuzzy, but I am a mom and I'm pretty sure that means you have to wear Sherpa at all times. So we have the subtle glow of bubble guppies on our skin. We, I think I was jamming before I got in here. Why is my seat all twisted? Um, Stella doesn't have her pacifier. Of course. I'm thinking about getting Starbucks and I know that you guys see me get Starbucks in like literally every vlog um, and that's because I have a problem. New Year's resolution is to give up Starbucks. Not forever but at least for a month and then only like a couple times here and there because it's getting super out of hand. But I want it so. We are actually at Joann's instead of Walmart because I want to see if they have a couple little craft things that I want to do for the grandparents. Um, and I figured they'd have a lot more options here and I'm sure they have tape for five times the price. Life hack, when you can't think of anything else to get people for Christmas, give them your kid's handprint. They can't say no. They literally already have Easter stuff out and I cannot handle it, but Lucy just had a meltdown because she didn't want to sit in the cart at all. And she's still in her pajamas, but whatever. Can you be happy, please? No. Oh, okay. No. All right. Passed out. Joanne didn't have what I was looking for. I was looking for those like shrinky dink things i assume you guys know what that is i don't know but they didn't have it oh, this mess behind me um for father's day last year i tried to make shane a keychain of lucy's handprint but father's day last year would make her what like nine ten months old or something her handprint was already really small and then it shrunk and it was like literally this big it was a total fail they did not work Thinking about doing that um this time around again for Shane with Lucy's handprint because it's a lot bigger now and I think I could pull it off but they didn't have it so I guess I'll scratch that idea I might look on Amazon anyway not important <laughs> the worst headache come out of nowhere I don't know what that's about so yesterday i text shane while he was on his lunch break and i told him that i felt really really dizzy and i don't know what was going on but i like literally felt like i could have passed out yesterday it's really nauseous for a little bit i was so paranoid that it was the flu like so paranoid but then a couple hours later i felt fine so i don't know what that was about but now i'm feeling the same thing again today like right now i feel the same like i'm just really dizzy and I don't know what's going on, but TMI, I started my first postpartum period yesterday. So I think that's probably what it's from because I mean, I haven't had a period in how long? Over a year. So that's probably what it is. I didn't get my first period with Lucy until I think she was like six or seven months. I don't know, but they and then they were like a few months apart for a long time. So whatever, but. I'm sure that's what's going on. I'm gonna wait out this headache for a little bit so I can get cleaning done, but yeah. I'm planning on getting stuff done, but Stella just wants me to hold her, so that's what we're gonna do. Hi. Did you get your clothes changed? 
She's been wearing this thing so much, but it fits her so well right now. Hi, are you wearing your sister's shirt? So I planned on filming, let me see, he's lying right here. Planned on filming a little Q&A last night while I was getting ready for my banquet, but then I started running late and I didn't have time to answer like anything. So um, I figured that I would answer the questions this morning while I drink my coffee. And this mug is like so inconvenient. The choo choo train. You're I watching love Polar Express. Choo -choo. You love the choo choo train? Yeah. Um, Aaron asked, Who are your favorite YouTubers to watch? Okay. Um, I don't watch a ton of YouTube anymore. I'm so busy. But my favorite ones to watch are my friend Tara Henderson, always. I love her channel. Um, Aaron Williams. Uh, I love. Love, love, love Mallory Irvin. I love her channel. She's so positive and uplifting and funny. And yeah, Mallory Irvin is one of my all-time favorites. I love her. First period after pregnancy. Have you had it? Sorry, TMI, but I'm currently experiencing mine. And tampon use is not working for me. Have you found a tampon? Have you found tampon use a no-go? Yes, this is quite personal. LOL. Um, as I said in the beginning of this vlog, I did start my period this week. And it has not been that bad. Um, I would say, I mean, it's definitely, sorry, TMI guys, it's definitely a period, like it's happening down there, but it's nothing like my first like real, real postpartum period because I haven't had really any cramps or anything, but um, yeah, I feel for you because that first one is a doozy, but I would say this is like half a real one, if that makes any sense at all. But you ladies know what I'm talking about, I think. I don't know, maybe you don't, we'll see. This is so hard to hold. But no, I haven't used a tampon in like over a year. Um, I'm thinking about trying like the Diva Cup or something. I don't know. Kind of grosses me out, but also it seems kind of awesome. We'll see. Do you plan on having more kids? And if so, when do you want to start trying again? Jenny Boo. Um, yeah, I've answered this before. We do want one more. God, look at my claw hand holding this. Um, uh, hi, baby. We do want one more. Um... Shane is hoping for a boy, but if we get another girl, we'd still be super happy. Um, and when do we want to start trying? Uh, not for a couple years at least, I would say. But you never know where life will take us. Did those lactation pills work for you? Do you see a, an increase in milk supply? Fernanda asked. Fernanda? Fernanda asked. I'm so bad with them, so bad with names. Yes, okay, so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I shared these um, supplements from Legendary Milk on Instagram. I'm about those supplements, those Legendary Milk supplements, and this is not sponsored at all, but they have made a really big difference. Um, my milk supply has gone down a little bit this week because of, you know, my period, that's normal. Um, but yeah, they've helped a lot. I'm gonna do a whole video over things that have helped for me, but um, yeah, they helped a lot. Lucy's literally trying to sit on Stella's lap right now. Don't do that. Emily asked, do we plan on preschool for Lucy? We plan on sending Lucy next year. She is a social butterfly and she is so smart and I know the preschool would be so great for her. So I'm sorry, my kids are yelling. Preschool next year, at least for two days a week. I think it would be so good for her. Ari, I think. Ari, Ori, Ari, I don't know. How do you manage to pump all day and all of her meals? Do you store in the fridge? How do you warm up the milk, etc.? First time mom here with a six week old. By the way, I love your channel. Thank you. Um, ow. It's a lot of work with both the girls at home and trying to pump all day. Um, but I just try to stick to right around every three hours. I'm still working on gaining a stash again. I don't have one. Um, I had a good one and then I had to use it all because my supply went down. But um, yes, I store in the fridge. I'm still giving her a bottle of formula once probably every other day more or less, but I think I'll be able to stop that here in a week or so. But um, I don't even remember what your question was. Oh, how do I manage to pump all day? It's hard put my pump in the living room and sit on the couch and try to entertain my babies while I do it. How do I warm up the milk? I'm old school and I just um, put hot water and a cup in the sink and I stick the bottle in there until it's warm. So answer a couple more because we are falling apart over here. Caitlin asked, what do you use when doing your eyebrows? It was the Anastasia Brow Pomade in soft brown and I am a ride or die for Anastasia's brow products. They're all I use, they're all I will use until the end of time, so. 
I love them. I planned on this taking five minutes and now it's taking an hour, but I'll answer a couple more questions. So your daughters are absolutely gorgeous. My question is, how did you come up with your daughter's names first and middle? Um, thank you. Lucy's name, I was just cleaning one day. I found one of my I Love Lucy DVDs and I have been obsessed with I Love Lucy since like I was tiny. I just mentioned it to Shane. I was like, what about Lucy? Thinking he wouldn't like it. And he said he really liked it. And that's how her name happened. So she's named after my love for I Love Lucy. Um, and her middle name, Claire, which we never call her ever. We always call her Lucy Lou. Um, her middle name, Claire, is my middle name. And I'm named after my aunt. Stella's name is a lot more difficult for us. Um, we didn't name her till after she was born. Shane and I could not agree on any names at all. In the hospital, he ended up naming her and we just agreed on Stella. And her middle name, Sunny, is his grandpa's name and we are just obsessed with him. So, Stella Sunny, there you go. The hardest time naming babies. I'm just so picky. I like classic, but not super common, but also short. I like short names, so it's kind of hard to find one. Stin XO asked, what are you getting the girls for Christmas? Um, I'm gonna share that probably in my next video when I'm wrapping. It's not gonna be like a big sit down video, but I will show you guys what we got Lucy. And Stella, honestly, we only got her like two things, but I will show you guys what we got her. She's just a baby and we have everything this baby could need. So she isn't getting a lot, but I will show you guys. Still a lot more questions. We need to take advantage of Stella sleeping and Lucy eating breakfast quietly. So it's gonna be it for this little mini Q and A. So close to 6,000 subscribers. Hoping I can hit that by tomorrow. My camera is flashing at me, so I need to stop rambling and Stella is crying. For watching and supporting my channel. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. That was weird. Thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I don't even know how many questions I just answered because I was wrangling kids while I was doing it. Annoying if I edit this and I get like two questions out of it, but what you gonna do?